Hey there. Thought I'd come by with a quick video. It may be in two parts, I don't know, but hopefully I can be brief and say what I have to say in one video. Excuse me. Mm. Got my red hot candies again. You know I'm addicted to these red hots. But anyway, I just want to talk a little bit about the power of thought and the power of words. And you know, the thought comes before the word. So, words are powerful, but they come from a source uh, with our thinking. So, we have to be very careful of our thinking. I was, you know, just reminiscing sitting here in this chair, remembering how sick I was in December of 2017. I had to sleep in this chair for six weeks, and I could I pulled off the neck brace um, eight weeks later, and was able to get back in my bed. But it was rough. It was winter time. But I I am. Much so much better now. I couldn't picture <laughs> being well. I just couldn't. So, and maybe why it took me so long to get to this point because I couldn't envision me being well. But the thoughts are powerful. I was thinking about how I used to manifest things real quick, and that was a time. Oh, years ago, years ago. It had to be 1995, maybe. I was in this little bitty house, uh, living there with me and my sons. It's the same little house I was talking about that Sophia came, Sophia Stewart came to visit us in. But this was a Sunday morning, and... I was just laying there thinking about getting another dog. I think we had, wait a minute, I had given away all the puppies that we had. But that's one of the dogs that we just bought because it was a pretty rough neighborhood we lived in. So I said to myself, I said, self, I want another dog. I want to be about three months old, a girl, and I don't want to have to pay for it. That's That was my order. Dog, female, three months old, no charge. That's what I wanted. I kind of forgot about that dog. Mm. Got up out of bed and went to the front door to get the newspaper. Sunday paper. So, opened the door. There's this dog sitting on the porch. And I shoot the dog, try to get it away so I can get the paper. The dog didn't bark or nothing. He was happy to see me like, damn, you finally got here. And I, my son, I said, come get the, help me get this dog off the porch. He said, what's going on? I said, this dog is here. I said, I was just thinking about a dog and I wanted a girl about three months old, but this ain't the dog. This little dog, well, cute little dog, but it, it looked like it was mixed with German Shepherd and old child or something. You know, just a, a neighborhood street dog, you know, one of those dogs. So I told, then I told my son, this ain't the dog I was talking about. So he bent down, picked the dog up, turned it over. He said, well, mama, it's a girl. It's about three months old. This is what you ordered. Here's your dog. And he kind of pushed the dog on me, and I pushed it back. I was, this ain't what I now. Get rid of that dog. And by that time, the neighbor, uh, old Mr. Rick, he was out there uh, in his grass doing something. I don't know. But he started coming to the uh, over my side, and he caught me. He don't say Mary. He said, man, man. That's your dog? I said, no, no, sir, Mr. Rick, this is not my dog. 
He said, well, it's been hanging around y'all porch all week. Y'all leave so early in the morning, but it's been there. And the mailman don't want to be coming over here with dogs like that. Y'all take care of that dog. And I say, God, this ain't the dog I wanted. But I was not specific. I didn't say what color I wanted the dog, ugly or pretty. But I was just saying it to let you know how fast the power of our thoughts travel. Custom order. How fast. Within, I ordered this dog from the universe. I mean, who else? I wasn't standing at the dog in a box. I was laying there thinking about a dog. And before I could, I mean, within, I'd say, 10 minutes, here it is. So that's quick. And I've had many, so many occasions where the desires of my heart came to me. That was something that took uh, a long time. And there was something that came lickety split. And to de the reason why I'm making this video, because I'm, I'm reminded of how that used to happen to me. An example happened maybe three hours ago. My oldest son, we were on the phone. He said, you need some money? And he paid so many of my bills now till I was kind of hesitant. I said, he must be joking. He already paid my light bill and put uh, my insurance and stuff. I said, uh, mm. I said, well, yeah, I always need money. So he says, I'm going to put $100 in your account. I said, really? He said, yeah. I said, that's so sweet. And he said, let me do it right now. And as he was saying now, while he was saying, let me do it, I said that the universe will bless you in abundance. I said, it would give you tenfold for blessing me. And he said, I receive it, mama. And when he said, Mama, that was a pause. I said, you still there? He said, I'm just trying to figure out my bank account. I got this notice in my mind. Here I'm thinking, ooh, real fast notice. He won't be able to give me that money. He done changed his mind. He said, Mama, I got Disney World has deposited $250 in my account while we talking. I said, what? He said, yeah, they just put it in my account. I said, for what? He was telling me he was flipping and scrolling and do whatever you do, the back page of a deposit. He said it's for a refund on a deposit that he had booked three years ago. And he said that they, he and his ex-wife had canceled the trip and they were giving him his money back. So I don't understand how they found me because this is a whole different phone and different account. And he said, but it's a miracle. And I said, yeah, you're right. Because while we were talking, I said, you will be blessed. Tenfold, and there it was. He deposited $100 in my account. Bam, hit the button. And here's somebody else giving him two, $250. And we kind of laughed about it. And I said, well, you want to hit that button and deposit some more money? <laughs> and he laughed. He said, no, I'm going to the casino with this money. I said, yeah. I said, don't spend all of it. He said, no, I'm, I gamble responsibly, and I'm glad he, uh, you know, doing better because, you know, he has this addiction to, man, my father was an alcoholic. My mother didn't drink. My father, his father, my brother, my sister, my sister that passed away, me. So... 
he is my oldest son. And then even my youngest son. He's he he said, Mom, I'm not gonna ever give up alcohol. <laughs> None of this lab. He said, So die but I don't drink and drive, so I want people to leave me alone. I said, Okay, okay, I'm not bothering you. You'll quit when it's time. But uh the oldest one he said, Mama, I just like to gamble. He said, but I don't gamble hard. And I said, yeah, that's, that's good. You have to do something. But that money exchanged real quick. That uh, Disney World giving him that deposit and him putting money in my account. So we do have power. And I don't think one... The power of thought versus the power of your tongues, of your tongue speaking it to existence. I don't think either one is any faster. I don't. I don't know. They probably about the same speed because I I remember uh people a mother would say a dad would say I'm gonna whoop your ass to the kid and they be whooping the whole time they talking so they bringing it to life as they speak and I remember they would say be whooping the kids and say you made me do this so that's why I'm whooping your ass with the belt and steady talking but the I think the hard harder punishment comes with the mouth cuz um, you know people don't know what you think and they don't know what you think but they know what you're saying and you could tell if it's going to be aggression or something with the tone in their voice so we have a a lot more to fear from the tongue than from the, the thought y'all hear that's that's sunny if you hear that noise she had my my feet just sleeping wake up sunny get up baby but anyway just that's just my thoughts on the power of the tongue and the thought and how we can custom order whatever we want. You know, we don't even have to we don't even have to go to church or nothing. You don't have to do nothing. You don't have to try to get nobody back because they did you wrong or nothing. And that 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 thing to come get people that that K A R M A, it's like, ooh, I feel sorry for you. And karma come in and get the switching people, and you know you can't stand too close to people that's getting their their just reward for something because you might get hit with uh what's going on, the belt is slinging and hot water pouring and. You there want to be nosy, you're going to get a hidden too. So you have to be careful. But karma takes care of all things. I mean, good or bad. So we don't have to worry about nothing. We don't even have to practice religion. It's funny, you, <clears throat> you don't even notice until the things, the, the life is almost over. You don't have to worry. You don't have to do nothing. Mm. Just sit down and enjoy the ride, man. Some people have figured it out. And it took me a while to figure out you don't have to do nothing. You just speak it into existence. Or think it into existence. But anyway, that's that's the thought I have for today. I'll be back with something else. If I get something worth talking about, okay? <laughs> but thanks for subscribing and taking the time out of your busy day busy day to listen oh i want to play this little game okay play it again remember we talked about that i want you to think of a question while i do the book think of a question this is the book of answers think of a question this is the answer It is worth the trouble. Mm, I don't know what your question is, but the book of answers said 
it is worth the trouble. <laughs> That's a thought for the afternoon, the evening. It is worth the trouble. I'm going to try to uh, thumb through the book of answers every time I make a video. Okay? Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.